Hey, what's up, guys? It's D'Artagnan, uh, trying to do a Dwarf Fortress video. This, I don't think it's going to be a series or anything. I'm just going to do a video just to kind of, you know, kind of go through some stuff. Um, I've been watching a lot of Let's Play videos and guides by Blind and Icon, and then my brother uh, wanted to see me play. So we're going to see how that goes. Just to create a new world, hit OK. Uh, we're going to do sparse resources. So I feel like on everywhere, they're just literally everywhere. That's, you know, and I saw someone playing rare and it looked like it was a little bit too rare. So I think sparse might be a good middle ground between those. So let's create our world. Boom. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Okay, fortress. Let's go, I guess. Okay, skip that. Okay. So, uh, my last time I played, I messed around and I got into a place that was freezing cold. I just abandoned it because I wasn't sure how to deal with that. I was told to avoid terrifying and haunting areas, haunted areas. Um, uh, someone said you can play pretty good with just copper and tin because that will make bronze, and bronze is um, equal to basically. Uh, iron, so let's go ahead and find an embarking location. I want to try to play with aquifers, but I heard to avoid heavy. And then we're going to want copper, and we're going to want tin, I believe they said. So let's go ahead and see what we can get with this. Okay. My first game I played, I was killed by the humans after like the second year, I think it was. Like three humans showed up with like full armor and... I did have a squad of five guys, but they half of them didn't even have like proper gear and stuff. It was pretty pretty sad. So um did not go well at all. Um Okay, so what we got here? Light aquifer, no trees. Um no trees. Zinc, tin, lead. Not really a bad spot there. Um, some soil, trees, woodland, no bad guys nearby. Um, this might be a really good, possibly, place to start at. What's this guy? Uh, okay, and I heard that each square will tell you what is inside of the, you know what I mean? So this one's got no trees, silver, copper, lead, um, woodland, Silver, copper, tin, lead. I kind of want to be part of this river, though, kind of a little bit, I'm thinking. Um, oh, I see. There's no aquifer around here, just right here. How about up here? Very deep soil. Temperatures temperate, woodland, untamed wilds again. Um, oh, we can actually like move around. Okay, that's actually funny. Don't, please don't uh, judge me. <laughs> uh, that river goes into there a little bit. Let's maybe try this area here. Okay, we've got temperate woodlands, brook. There's a brook there. This looks like maybe a good spot to be. Maybe even like over one more like that. Let me see this right here. Yeah, zinc tin. Okay, yeah, I think that might be good. Let's just try it right, right here. So it's a little more. Okay, uh, you've selected an area with light aquifer cool. Water might need to be pumped out or carried away. You've selected a savage area. Oh shoot. Okay, maybe maybe not. Shoot. Is it savage? Where does it say savage at? Untamed wilds. Where does it say? Where, am, I, am I crazy? Where does it, somewhere, somewhere does it say savage? Savage somewhere? 
I don't know. Let's maybe just try doing this. Uh, confirm. Play now. I did try to do my own thing on that right there. The uh, what's it called? But um, uh, you have to, if you do a detailed launch or a, a, a whatever, a careful planning, whatever, um, it. I didn't know you have to do everything. Like they give you like 544 or 700 points or something. They to allocate between all of the people and the gear. And I was just like, okay, wow, that's a bit much. I just want to rename my, my, my clan. But all right, so Solent Thur. Uh, make an outpost for the glory of all of Solent Thur. Okay, so here we are. We're going to strike the earth. We're going to get started here. Uh, let's go. Okay, we're already paused. Great. Okay, we've got a brook there. This is actually a really nice area right here for an entrance, I feel like. Very nice. Uh, one thing I want to look at really quick is the animals in the area because it said that it could be dangerous stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Nothing here. That's actually great, I think, kind of. Uh, pets, livestock. Okay. Oh, cool. We have a male and a female yak, which is incredible. Um, the rest, not so much. But that's great that we have those. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go into the standing orders menu. And we're going to automatically collect webs, turn that off. Siege and forbidding, claim other dead, forbid other none, hunted dead. Okay, that was, I was told to get rid of those. Um, uh, chores, uh, some are good and some are bad. So feeding's good, milking's good, stone hauling, wood hauling, item hauling, burial, food hauling, refuse hauling, furniture, animal, trade good hauling is fine, water hauling is bad, cleaning, lever operation. So those are the chores that kids can do that apparently are going to keep them so they're not, uh, they, they're not going to be unhappy. So that's going to be that. Or you could alternately say none. Some chores apparently make the kids upset. Whatever, I had a kid go crazy in my last playthrough. So um, go ahead and assign um, three miners. I say that one assigned three miners. We'll do our mason and our stone crafter. And then our minor miner we're going to take away from that job. Um, go ahead and assign your planter as the only planter because they get XP for doing that. And then a gatherer, assign one gatherer. And we're going to do that with our expedition leader. Okay, cool. So that should be good for that. Anything else we need? Oh yeah, we go to the kitchen tab, turn this off because we don't want to waste our we don't want to waste our plump helmets and get rid of our seeds when cooking. Um, okay, so we got this, yeah, so we're doing we're doing good here. Like I said, this is a great spot to start it, I think. Um, if we go up one level. Okay, it looks good. Yeah. All right, yeah, I like this area here. This looks good. This is, what is this? Yellow sand wall, red sand wall. Okay, so yellow and red sand. Um, I hope that this creek is enough for him to maybe find some stuff in it, hopefully, maybe, for lucky. I don't know. Maybe that's big enough. I have no idea how big a uh, space. Whoa. Oh, maybe that's not. Oh, so we're going to have to go. Where's my start at? Right here. Oh, uh, we're fine. I just got to be, co be cognizant of digging either up or to the... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's go down a couple layers. It won't be a big deal. Okay, first things first, we want to dig into the mountain and just set up in a general area to do some to do some stuff. So we're going to do that. Right, We're going to sign that order right now. Um, we're going to go... come down this way and then we'll just do like something like that and then we're going to want a couple of shops
That should be good enough, I think. Uh, we'll do one more over here. Uh, right here. All right, that should be good enough. And then we got so we'll have our stockpile here and stuff. Okay. And then next thing we need to do is chop down some trees. Do those two. Those two, and those two for now. And then let's go and build a pasture for the animals. We'll literally just put it right here outside our front gate, and then we're going to accept that and assign everyone who's not a dog or a cat, basically. So boom, 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 and boom. Okay, we're going to do two other stockpiles outside, and that's going to be immediately for our um, corpses and refuge stuff. Or actually, we'll just do one stockpile. It'll be like right over here. Accept, and we're going to customize it and do... Uh, none except for corpses, all, refuse, all, all. Okay. So that should be good, I think. I think we're good there. All right, let's go and let them get started on this stuff. I do see a bird over there. Let me see if maybe that is a thing now. Others, 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 creatures, others. Okay, so we got uh, this guy right here. I'm not sure how dangerous that is. And we got a couple of capybaras, which I would like to think are not dangerous. I mean, maybe. What's this guy doing? The fishing fisher dwarf. Oh, he's caught in the rain, so he's upset. Okay, he's catching stuff. That's really, really good. That makes me happy. Okay, we are catching stuff. We are digging. Got a couple of dig okay, everyone's digging. Nice. Excellent. This is great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and stop that real quick and go ahead and do this and accept. And this is going to be everything except for mm, corpses, none, refuse, none. And then let's go ahead and get that going. Um, then we're going to set up some shops. And so we're going to set up, um, <coughs> we want a... Uh, well, you know, first of all, we're going to set up a um, a manager, expedition leader. Okay, boom. Uh, it says you need a, a what's it called? A, 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 an office for them, but apparently you don't need an office for them until you get to around population 20. So for now, we can just go ahead and have a manager, which allows us to create work orders. Let's go ahead and get all of our workshop set up. So we're going to do. Um, I hate when I do that. I always like want to scroll this menu, and it never goes well. Um, I'm blind. Okay, carpenter. Boom. Um, wood, 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 wood. Chestnut logs. Great. Um, workshops. Stone worker. Um, uh, don't think any of this really matters, but we'll just go ahead and keep with the thing here. Workshop. Um, Oh, farming, we're going to want to still here. Yep. And then we're going to do um, a kitchen. Yep. I don't even know which one to pick anymore, so we'll just do whatever. And then we've got a couple more. We're going to do a fishery here. Fishery right here. And then we're going to do one more, and that is going to be a crafts shop up here. Okay, so that should give them something to do for the time being. They're going to start gathering stuff, bring it in here, and start actually working. So that's good.
Well, this is going pretty well so far. I mean, this is a, seems to be a nice area. Um, great, we have built one of the shops already. We got some big trees here. Okay, cool. I don't know how that works. I've never seen a big tree get cut, so I don't know if you got to cut all, all of them, or just one, one piece cuts it down, or or what. But okay, got the fishery done. I think he automatically processes the fish um, when that gets uh, set up. I'm pretty sure. So that's going to be great um, for us. Definitely use a different um, wood that use chestnut. Okay, that's fine. And willow. That's funny. Ash. Ash. Okay, so we're processing a few things. Okay. And they're bringing in all of the other resources still. That's good. Uh, we can actually do something else here. We can go... like that. job and then this one we'll go ahead and just uh, I think make this one for just all food so we're going to do uh, custom food and I think just say all for the time being and I think that'll be that and then this one we'll go ahead and do custom and we will say food none and that should help us have more room for other stuff. Um, and now we can probably get started on the orders. So let's check that out. So work orders. This is always a little bit um, weird for me because I'm not sure 100% all the time like how to like, you know, get this going. So we're going to do this. Um, and got to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so kitchen's one of them for sure. Prepare easy meal. And this one, um, you know, anytime we're, you know, below, let's say, 20, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make 20, I think is. Um, I think that's a good order for that. Not sure, but, you know, could be a good order for that. Could have just kept this going. Um, the, the, the carpenter's workshop has a lot. We want, um, uh, bins for sure. And this one's going to be, um, make two bins every time there is less than two bins. I think that is a good one to have. I want to make some wheelbarrows eventually. Don't know if I need them right now, but I think I might just make three right now just to kind of have three going. So if we go to Carpenter again and we do wheelbarrow uh, and then we're just going to leave this at three and then they'll just make three and then that'll be that. I think we already have one, so that'll be fine. Uh, what else? We want to do, um, uh, let's see here. The still, we want to brew drinks from fruit. Another one where we... Um, you know, if we have, you know, less than, um, less than 25, then make 10. Make 10 sounds good. That's probably, that's probably fine. And then another one we want from them <coughs> is to brew drink from plants. Yeah, that's right. Same thing. Um, less than 25. Now, some people like to do, 
amount of seeds. If amount is less than, or no, if amount, um, amount of permitted plants, empty food storage items, seeds available. If available is less than, I don't know. I thought there was like a greater one. Maybe you can change these somehow yourself. I'm not really sure. But anyways, um, I thought it was like if you, as long as you have one seed, then they'll make the, or at least one plant, it'll just make. So, so maybe unrotten fermented plants. As long as you have just one plant, then it'll just make it automatically, and just make as many as I can. So, I don't know if that makes a difference either way. Um, you know, whatever. That seems to be. Uh, what did I say here? Twenty-five, and then ten is fine for those because that's actually going to make fifty because each batch I believe is five. So, that's good. Um, what else do we need? We need, um, uh, let's see here, barrels would be a good one to have maybe. Um, oh, mugs, definitely need mugs. Definitely need some rock mugs. And this one, I don't think we need a super amount, maybe, maybe five and five. Make five if we ever have less than five. Probably good enough. Um, what else? Oh, barrels, I said. That's in the carpenter workshop. Um, make wooden barrels. Okay. Another one where we kind of want probably two. Two. And then two. That should be fine. We do want some beds right now. We have seven dwarves. Let's go ahead and just make 10 beds, I think. Um, we'll actually just dig out a little bit of an area um, right here. Um, and yeah, we're going to do some beds real quick here. bed and we're just gonna make ten. Ten beds, okay. So I feel better now that we'll all start getting done and made once they get everything brought inside, which hopefully is going pretty well. We've got uh, quite a bit of stuff still. Oh we actually have an iron anvil. I don't know if that's something you usually start with or not, but usually people try to trade for that in the first year. So that's good. stuff what we got here um ba -ba -da -ba -da. wooden bins were made that's great um oh they're there okay, so they're there okay they're just waiting a couple wheelbarrows are done the wheelbarrows are done good because um when you get to the point where you have a stone you're gonna want to um be able to um You know, um, and we're going down one area right there. Okay, so we've already run into the aquifer. Great. Okay, was not expecting that right away. Hmm. Um, well, we'll go ahead and dig. We can't dig through it now because we don't have. Well, we c we could we could um, just. Add a new task and make some uh, blocks. Um, we could just make a couple of those. Um, was not expecting to run into that right away, but I'm not. I was told not to be not to be scared of it and to just deal with it. So I guess we'll see. Um, wheelbarrow's done. Nice job. Okay, we gotta go to your mason cancel. Oh, we, yeah, we have no rocks yet, so that's why we can't make anything. But the orders are still there, and they'll get made um, when 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 it does become available. Okay, how are we doing here? This is okay. We've got some seeds still that no one's brought in yet, but they're working on it. Not a big deal. It's fine. Um, why are there dead rat remains in here? 
when I got my refuse pile out here. What is going on here? Oh, I know what the problem is. A bet, maybe? No? What is this? Well, it says no corpses. Weird. Don't know. This is rat remains. What, what, I'm very concerned, very confused. There's seem to be quite a few. There's like a lot of them. Don't think I want those here. If I'm not, mis I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I do not think you want rats remains. Uh, just hanging around inside your um, inside your place. Um, also, what are my cats doing? I mean, I guess my cats are killing them, so that's good. Oh yeah, I'll just put the beds up, that's right. Beds. Oh, let's go ahead and just cancel that and just do it the way. Um, use, place, use. Oh, I don't have four? Okay, that's interesting. One, four, okay. Uh, looks like they are, looks like I took away one rat. There's no one here, another one there, another one there, so. Oh, they didn't take away any. I'm so perplexed right now. Custom corpses refuse. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and designate this area as a dormitory for the time being. And they can, at least now they have somewhere to sleep at. If they need to. Alright, they're taking little naps. That's good. Alright, we're almost done with this. There's one more thing in here. Just a big tail seats. Uh, were the blocks made? It looks like that is a yes. Okay, so we got the blocks made. So we can continue down here if we want to. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I go to stairs again, <coughs> this should work, I think. We stop that. Okay, so what is this? Sand wall. Okay, so now I believe the deal now is we need to dig all four sides out and replace it with the blocks. Done. Okay, and then we put down the blocks. Nope. Uh, constructions. Blocks. Wait, walls. Walls. And then hopefully we get the walls down here. Oh man, this is definitely taking longer than I thought it would. We got water already. Okay, good. Phew. Okay, so there's that. Nice job. Okay, so now we can go back to the stairs and put it there again and then go down one level and see if this ends up being the same situation. He's coming down. Boom. Okay, so this means we're fine. This means we can't dig in this level, but I think we're we're okay to continue going down. And this is rough hewn wall. So we can actually smooth these out just for um just to make sure. I don't think it needs to be done, but I was just told to just do it anyways. Alright, and now we make a staircase here and go down one more just to see what's going on down here. 
great. Okay, now we're into... Okay, we got some stuff going on. Okay. So now... Um, this will probably be our farming layer because we can now figure out a way to get the water to come down into this layer and make the dirt mud and, and make a farm. So that'll be cool. So let's go ahead and get the staircase going here and go down 10 levels. So shift down 10 levels and see if we can find out what's going on in each level here. Nice. 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 Okay, cool. So we didn't run into anything else. These are all immune. Immune. Oh, they're all the same. That's interesting. Well, all except for this. Okay, so that's cool. Are they going to smooth those out? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Okay, so that, that didn't go as bad as it could have, I think. I almost kind of want to maybe, I should have maybe dug this out so I could have my staircase of three go down. I don't know how dangerous that is. I'm not really 100% sure. Um, but this just means that we have only one way in and one way out. So I don't know if maybe I want to just build another staircase like over here, like just have them kind of side by side. I don't know. Also, don't know how to get rid of this. Like, if I, if I, if I, if I try to get rid of this, how does that, how does that work? No. Okay. But I, mean, I can't erase it, so I don't know how to get rid of um, that thing. Construction. Maybe like a floor. I don't think I have a floor though. Oh, what is that? What does that do? Yeah, I don't think I have a floor. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, nice. What is that? A wood floor. I'm so confused right now. Did I make wood floors? Wood floors use just wood blocks, I guess, maybe? That's what's going on. Oh, I guess that's what's going on. So I'd not have a wood floor there. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. That might not be the best thing ever. Uh, we need some stone. So the layer that we can dig on, which is here, I believe, right? Yes. We're going to go ahead. Oh, no, not this one. The one below. We're going to go ahead and go like... Try that and see how that goes. Okay. Um, how's everything else going? Looks like we're doing pretty good as far as everything else is going. Animals. We're getting fish in, which is great. I guess I didn't have that in my last game. All the wagons done. Uh, so the wagon we go and destroy. Um, need a new meeting place. So we're going to do a meeting place. Right here. No, that didn't work. I'm an idiot. Oh, it did work. Okay, cool. Yep. There we go. What do we got on here? You have struck Jasper Opal. Nice. Uh, carpenter. Awesome. Wood barrels completed. Ten beds have been completed. Okay, we can put down more beds now. That's great, too. Furniture. Uh, bed. And let's just do one, two, three, four. Eight for now is fine. Okay. Uh, looks like they've removed the rat carcasses. That's great. We've got some turtle shells up there now, too. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So that's been disassembled. And they now have that going on. And let's go ahead and maybe just cut down one, two, three, four more trees. Okay. Cool. I thought the bins would be used more, like by the blocks. I think the, the blocks are used by the bins. I'm not sure though. Uh, let's check out our. Okay, great, great. Well, that's actually a good uh, gem too because it's uh, like a tier two gem. So. Oh no. Damn. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So we can't. So the gem. The gem's there. We could. We could. We could cut it out. Like that one right there. Maybe we can cut out. And these two here. Um, okay. 
so let's see how this go how far this goes like this way and if it goes down this way as well and then we'll just go ahead and dig out in this direction instead of what we were doing and just see how that ends up being if we run into more aquifer. I like the fact that this game makes it makes you kind of stop. I mean, I'd like to get that opal out. We could get it out. We could just dig out this wall and then, well, no, 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 we can't. We cannot. Because there's water above it, it'll come down. It's it's kind of a process. You don't want to just dig out this random wall here because you could have water come in from the bottom. I believe is how that works. So... Okay, so we found that. Not not a big deal. Um, I don't know where they're going. What do we got over here? Okay. Um, yep. Okay, fair enough. Um, make rock mug. Nice job. The rock mugs are done. Okay. He's using the wheelbarrow to get the rocks, which is great. That's what we wanted. Um, easy meal's been done. That's great. We've got 20 easy meals. Perfect. Go more gems. That's that's nice. Um, we'll go ahead then and just cut out another section there like that as well. All right, so the aquifer seems to, be, seems to be on this side. So we could still use this area, I think. We just would have to, you know, be cognizant of that area over there, so. All right, so we got some stone going on. That's great. All right, so what is next? Um... Yeah, so I think I think this first layer here, this will be the farm layer, try to maybe even put the farm like right here knowing that there's water right above and try to see how that works out. Um, yeah. Um, we could do, I know that's a seven by seven. So that would be like where our farm's gonna be at. And we need one door. Um, oh, uh, okay, so then we know where that is. So have we gone down more? We have. Here's another one. Uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Um, All right, so that should go down all levels and, and kind of expose them to see what's going on in each one. Because <coughs> we're going to need a level. We want a level for basically stoneworks, a level for kitchen kitchen farming. So this this be our kitchen farming, all that stuff. Then we're going to want a level for um, uh, wood and possibly um, uh, smelting. Um, so I'm not sure what this guy's doing. Healthy, okay. Oh, he's a skilled appraiser, that's nice. Oh, the game's paused, I'm an idiot, that's what's going on. The reason why he's not working is because I paused the game and I didn't realize it and I'm an idiot. That's what actually happened right there. So, all right, well, I'm gonna stop this episode. I think things are actually going pretty well. Um, take a little break, um, and then my you guys can let me know what you think about what's going on. This makes sense or whatever for the time being. Um, we need to get down to the layers, expose what's going on. Um, we need to, we're, we're, we're in still in early summer, which is great. We have this entire month, and I believe next month to get ready for the traders. We want to get this, all of this stuff, we want to get this stuff down below. Um, 
I actually kind of, it's unfortunate because I really kind of wanted this, um, this, uh, this is sand though. I don't, I don't, so I didn't have any dirt, did I? I don't think I had any dirt. No, I didn't have any dirt. So, um, cause I, I think if we, if you eventually, eventually wait on the road, when you get to the caverns, I know that this was dirt or clay. The cavern would spread the, the gra the moss and stuff would spread to this layer. Um, and then the video I saw, the guy just basically dug up all of this, like removed everything that was here, dug this all out, and made this a pasture, and then basically made it so that he, the animals were all inside, and then just a bunch of traps down the main corridor to make sure nothing got in. So uh, I don't know if that's if it happens to stand or not. Um, I guess we'll just find out. Not if not, then whatever. We'll we'll deal with it the way it's dealt with here. Um, but yeah, thanks. Uh, so this is just temporary right here, and then we're gonna work on getting down below and then try to figure out how to do the, uh, I'm hoping that there's water here, right here is where I want water at, right there in that spot. And then we you basically flood this area, it turns into mud when it dries up and then you put your farm plot here and apparently that is just way better. Um, the, the, the soil is, the mud is much more fertile and better than if you were to do surface mining, so. And the fact that we have these really nice gems here is incredible because these are going to be cut up and sold to the traders. So the fact that we found those and we have more actually already in here is pretty cool. So, all right, anyways, I will, um, yeah, I'm going to keep going, but this is number one and hopefully it's not too terrible and everyone kind of just enjoys what's going on. So, all right, thanks guys.